Hi folks, this is Jin and welcome to my channel. The topic today is totally different. I'm going to fix all the tiles on the floor. We have here a typical setup of a shower floor in Finland where the water goes directly on the floor and leaves through this sink and in this part the seams are cracked and water comes through and stays here so in order to prevent any mold and fungus and whatnot I'm going to close these seams because retiling all the room will take place in some future I can't even say when so right now I'm going to temporarily fix it find a workaround so to say so first of all I will remove any residual mass I'm using just a screwdriver right here and it goes really easy because it's all old and rotten maybe it's it is 38 years old, maybe 35, something in the room. The sound hollow underneath, so there is no glue underneath. I mean, I expected this, that they start to get off if you just clean the seams because they sound hollow, so they are hollow, there is no glue underneath it and they have been held together only by the, by the seams. I think I will keep it to dry overnight and next morning I will glue the tiles back in place and use silicone to fill the seams. This is all. All hollow. But it is intact. So I think I will remove this tool as well. Okay, look. No, they don't hit me. So, because underneath is a mat, they uh, stick to it. So, uh, Let's keep it dry to dry overnight. 
Now this morning I'm going to fix it further on. Okay, the floor dried out overnight. So I continue now sealing it and putting the tiles back in place. First, I will seal with silicone around the edges because those tiles are on a mesh, keeping them all together, but there is possibility for water to go underneath it and then it, may, it makes water noises if you step on it so I will prevent the water to go further than this if 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 it ever goes down there Now, if there are any cracks, there should not be any water running under the neighboring tiles. And now I will glue the tiles on the floor using a construction glue or so-called liquid nails. So I got this glue from Lidl, it was quite a good value um, and now I will use it to install the tiles on the floor. This is a quick and dirty solution, so don't repeat. place the tiles like this then remove it and place it back and repeat
makes it to fit better. So if you remove and put it back in place, the glue is distributed much better if you rather than if you do it just once. tiles are more or less in line glued together fixed and patched and now I will close the seams with silicone I don't really like to work with silicone I spend too much of it in general and it is quite quite messy but I try to do the best of Now it comes the most messy thing. I use soapy water in order to protect my fingers from gluing the silicone on them and making the line smooth.
now I will collect the visibly excess silicone This is how it looks at the end. It's not beautiful, but it serves its purpose to prevent water coming underneath the tiles until the real renovation comes. Thank you for watching and see you soon in another video. Now let's make a test. Perfect.